planning a trip to Qatar and wondering what to do? Well, you're in luck. Our journey today takes us through the top 10 things to do in this fascinating country. Qatar, a blend of tradition and modernity, offers a unique blend of experiences that are sure to leave you enchanted. From breathtaking architecture to vibrant markets and serene landscapes, there's something for everyone. So pack your bags and prepare for an adventure like no other. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 things you must do in Qatar. Starting off our list at number 10 is the Pearl Qatar. A marvel of human ingenuity, the Pearl Qatar is a testament to both the audacity of ambition and the allure of luxury. Imagine a world where the sea meets the city, where opulence is the norm, and where the boundaries of lavish living are pushed beyond the horizon. This is the Pearl Qatar, a man-made island spanning nearly 4 million square meters. It is a paradise for those who appreciate the finer things in life. Here, you can stroll through high-end boutiques, dine at world-class restaurants, or simply soak in the awe-inspiring marina views. This is not just a place to live, it's a place to experience. From the Venetian-inspired Canat Quartier with its charming canals and pastel-colored buildings, to the bustling Porto Arabia with its luxury yachts and upscale eateries, each district in the Pearl Qatar offers a unique blend of experiences. The Pearl Qatar promises an unforgettable experience for all. At number 9 we have the Souk Waqif. Step back in time as we explore the bustling lanes of Souk Waqif, the heart and soul of Doha. This vibrant marketplace has been a trading hub for centuries, offering an array of goods that tantalize the senses. As you meander through the labyrinth of shops, the air is filled with the rich aroma of spices, a symphony of colors from the fine textiles, and the allure of beautifully crafted souvenirs. From the delicate threads of saffron to the hand-woven Persian rugs, and from the intricate details of traditional Qatari jewelry to the beautifully carved wooden artifacts, Souk Waqif is a treasure trove of experiences and culture. It's not just a marketplace, it's a journey into the past, a celebration of the present, and a testament to the Qatari spirit of commerce and community. Souk Waqif is a must-visit for any traveler looking to have an authentic Qatari experience. Coming in at number 8 is the Katara Cultural Village. This vibrant locale is more than just a village, it's a celebration of Qatar's rich heritage and a hub for arts and culture. Imagine strolling through charming lanes, lined with traditional Qatari architecture, where every corner is brimming with creativity. Here you'll find an array of art galleries showcasing works from local and international artists. There's a stunning amphitheater, which hosts a variety of performances and festivals. And let's not forget the delectable cuisine. From Qatari to international dishes, the dining options are as diverse as they are delicious. The village also offers workshops and lectures for those looking to deepen their understanding of Qatar's culture and art scene. It's a place that fosters creativity, encourages cultural exchange, and inspires a deeper appreciation for Qatar's rich history and traditions. Qatar a cultural village is a testament to Qatar's commitment to celebrating and preserving its culture. Next up at number 7 is the National Museum of Qatar. This architectural marvel is more than just a building. It's a journey through the rich tapestry of Qatar's history. Nestled in the heart of Doha, the museum's unique design, inspired by the Desert Rose, is a sight to behold. Now let's delve into its interiors. The museum houses a wide array of artifacts, from archaeological findings to modern installations, each telling a unique story about the Qatari people and their past. The galleries are arranged in a chronological order, offering a seamless journey from the formation of the Qatar Peninsula millions of years ago to its vibrant present. But it's not just history to be discovered here. The museum also hosts regular exhibitions, workshops and educational programs that bring Qatar's culture to life. So whether you're a history buff or just a curious traveler, the National Museum of Qatar is a must-see for anyone interested in learning about Qatar's history and culture. At number 6, we have dune bashing in the desert. Picture this, you're strapped into a sturdy four-wheel drive, your heart pounding in anticipation as you prepare to conquer the shifting sands of Qatar's vast desert landscapes. Dune bashing, as this exhilarating activity is known, is a must-try for every thrill-seeker. It's more than just a bumpy ride, it's a dance with nature, where you and your vehicle pirouette on the sun-baked dunes in a thrilling performance that's as unpredictable as the desert itself. 
Your skilled driver maneuvers the vehicle expertly over the towering dunes, climbing steep sandy slopes before plunging down the other side, sending a rush of adrenaline coursing through your veins. The desert, once considered an impassable barrier, transforms into a playground for your adventurous spirit. And as the sun sets, painting the sky with hues of orange and purple, you'll find yourself in awe of the desert's stark beauty, the adrenaline rush replaced by a sense of tranquility. Dune bashing in the desert is an adrenaline-pumping experience you won't want to miss. Halfway through our list at number 5 is Aspire Park. This tranquil oasis, nestled in the heart of Doha, is a perfect retreat from the bustling city. With its lush greenery, it's like stepping into a hidden paradise. The park is an ideal spot for picnics, with plenty of open spaces to set up your blanket and basket. You can take leisurely strolls along the well-maintained paths, enjoying the serene environment. The park is home to a variety of flowering plants and trees, providing a feast for your eyes and a calming atmosphere. It's not uncommon to spot local wildlife here, adding to the park's charm. Aspire Park is also home to the Torch Doha, an iconic hotel that towers over the park, adding a touch of modernity to the natural landscape. Whether you are a nature lover or a city dweller, Aspire Park offers something for everyone. Aspire Park is the perfect place to unwind and relax in the midst of your travels. Number 4 on our list is a visit to the Corniche. This picturesque waterfront promenade is a gem in the heart of Qatar's capital city, Doha. Stretching over several kilometers, it offers a breathtaking panorama of the city's skyline. But the Corniche isn't just for sightseeing. It's a place where life in Doha unfolds in all its vibrancy. As you stroll along the Corniche, you'll see locals and tourists alike enjoying the balmy weather. Families picnicking on the well-maintained lawns and fitness enthusiasts jogging along the paths. At sunset, the Corniche transforms into a magical vista with the sun casting long shadows over the glittering waters of the Arabian Gulf and the city lights of Doha twinkling in the distance. Whether you're a photography enthusiast looking for that perfect shot or just someone who enjoys a leisurely walk amidst stunning views, the Corniche has something to offer. A visit to the Corniche is a must for any traveler looking to capture some stunning shots of Doha. Coming in at number three is the Museum of Islamic Art. This architectural marvel is not just a building, it's a statement, a testament to the rich and diverse history of Islamic art. Nestled on the Doha waterfront, the museum is an epitome of modern Islamic architecture, designed by the acclaimed architect I.M. Pei. A single step inside the museum takes you on a journey through 13 centuries of Islamic history. It houses one of the world's finest collections of Islamic art, gathered from three continents. From intricate ceramics to stunning textiles, from impressive metalworks to precious manuscripts, the museum's collection is vast and varied. Every piece tells a story, every artifact carries a legacy. The museum is not just about art, it's about understanding a culture, a civilization, and an era. It's a place where history comes alive and art speaks. The Museum of Islamic Art is a must-visit for art lovers and history buffs alike. At number two, we recommend exploring the Inland Sea. The Inland Sea is not just another body of water. This is an astonishing natural reserve, a place where the desert meets the sea in a remarkable display of nature's grandeur. It's one of the few places on Earth where the sea encroaches deep into the heart of the desert, creating a unique haven for wildlife. Imagine the sun setting over the dunes, casting long shadows and bathing the landscape in a warm golden glow. This is a vista that could leave even the most seasoned travelers speechless. And the wildlife? From the playful dolphins to the flocks of flamingos, the Inland Sea is a paradise for the nature enthusiast. But the Inland Sea isn't just about the views, it's about the exhilarating journey through the sand dunes, the tranquil silence that envelops you as the day ends. It's about the stories shared under the starlit sky, the memories made. Exploring the Inland Sea is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you won't want to miss. And finally, the number one thing to do in Qatar is discovering the modern architecture. Breathtakingly futuristic, Qatar's skyline is a testament to human ingenuity and vision. The country's capital, Doha, is home to a myriad of iconic skyscrapers that blend modern design with traditional Islamic influences. Each structure tells its own story, a narrative of progress and ambition. Among these, the Tornado Tower with its twisting form is a sight to behold, while the Burj Qatar, adorned with intricate patterns, is a reflection of the country's rich heritage. The Aspire Tower, also known as the Torch Doha, 
is another marvel, standing tall and proud, symbolizing the nation's aspirations. Yet it's not just about the skyscrapers. Qatar's modern architecture extends to its innovative stadiums, lavish malls and stunning museums, each offering a unique perspective into the nation's journey towards the future. Discovering Qatar's modern architecture is a journey that will leave you in awe. So there you have it, the top 10 things to do in Qatar. We've journeyed from the luxurious Pearl Qatar to the bustling Souk Waqif, immersed ourselves in culture at Qatara and the museums, felt the thrill of dune bashing, relaxed in Aspire Park, strolled along the Corniche, and marveled at the inland sea and modern architecture. The diversity of experiences is truly astounding. No matter what you choose to do, your trip to Qatar is sure to be an unforgettable one. Until next time, safe travels.